Well, the National Farmers Federation has rejected unions pleas to axe a visa program that provides almost 80% of seasonal workers to farmers. The unions are demanding the government scrap the working holiday visa program to stamp out widespread worker exploitation, industry lawlessness and provide more jobs for young people in regional and rural Australia. Joining me now, President of the National Farmers Federation, Fiona Simpson. Fiona, great to see you again tonight. Uh, take us through that. Uh, exactly how would that particular scheme work? <laughs> it's really hard to see what the unions are thinking here. Um, at the moment, we absolutely depend on overseas workers, whether they're backpackers, whether they're seasonal workers coming in from the Pacific Islands, or whether they're people on Pacific Island visas themselves, uh, to actually come in, particularly for some of the seasonal work, in areas that are often quite remote um, and, you know, a long way from where many Australians live in the cities, um, to, to pick our, our fruit, to pick our veggies to harvest our grain crops and then the people move on and do something else. So sometimes they, you know, go and, and travel around Australia, have a look around, um, or they might move on to some other work. Now, if we actually scrap these visas, we're actually going to be scrapping, you know, the ability for, for farmers to pick the, the fruit and veggies, which is not only supplying, you know, the, the food that, that Australians and the rest of the world needs, but it's also going to take a huge hit to, to the bottom line. So at the moment, horticulture alone, it's responsible for about... $13 billion. Uh, industry employs hundreds of thousands of people, again, about 130,000 in horticulture alone. So you can see what a huge impact it would have if we were to just suddenly scrap these visas overnight. And it does seem like a bit of a hysterical overreach to the unions. I'm not sure what's going on here from the unions. Oh, not sure ridiculous. what's going on here, Peter. Um, it just seems ridiculous. We want to stamp out exploitation. Um, you know, that's absolutely right. Uh, one is too many, and we want to stamp that out. But um, we've got, we've got um, you know, Fair Farms Initiative now and other things in place to, to be working really hard as industry. Uh, we want to call it out, but, but actually scrapping these visas is just ridiculous. Mm. You've got to be practical, Fiona. I mean, at the end of the day, the unions, you know, they have their place and they're trying to stand up for workers. But uh, the poor farmers who can't get uh, uh, workers uh, need to be given a, a bit of a leg up. Now, rural debt, I spoke about it at the start of the show. Uh, in Queensland, there's about 18,000 farmers who have racked up uh, debt close to $17 billion. And, of course, uh, works out at about a million dollars per farmer. But, of course, debt is important for people on the land uh, in the sense that, you know, it's a cyclical thing and, you know, they, they need to be able to obviously purchase stock and purchase produce. But uh, um, it's up 10%. Uh, does that surprise you? Well, no, not really. I mean, we are coming out of one of the worst droughts in living memory. And as you said, um, not all debt is bad, particularly when we've got record low interest rates. And, you know, debt can also be a sign of an industry that is growing strongly, of people who have confidence in the industry, in their businesses, who are wanting to invest and grow. And so for us, you know, we need to, first of all, it, it underlines a couple of things. One is that we do depend on our financiers and our banks and certainly a really strong relationship with those financial institutions to keep supporting farmers as we go through. You know, you, uh, Andrew Constance was just talking about some of the, the challenges that farmers have coped with over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, we need banks to stand by us and we need a strong competitive banking sector. So, uh, you know, National Farmers has a vision of being a $100 billion industry by 2030 at Farmgate. Uh, if we're going to do that, then we need strong farmers, we need strong finance, we need certainly a lot more investment in our industry from farmers and from other uh, super funds and, uh, and other, other places as well. So to us, it's a, an indication that our industry is growing strongly. There's a lot of confidence in our industry. It's a great time to be a farmer in Australia. And we just hope that government also um, looks at the opportunities in the regions and the opportunities in our industry and actually starts to invest in some of our much-needed infrastructure and connectivities to actually grow and, and stand and grow beside the farmers as they grow their businesses too. Fiona Simpson, always a pleasure to have you on Sky News Across Australia. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Thanks so much, Peter.